And right now to the latest redistricting map for Miami, which would divide up Coconut Grove. Commissioners holding a special meeting today in Miami to discuss the matter and protesters showing up. Local 10's Hassel Vela is live with the details. Hassel. So what we saw here at City Hall earlier, it's something we rarely see. This was a, a room full of passion. And let me tell you, these folks were all opposed, all, every single one of them who went before the commission opposed to the current plan for redistricting of Coconut Grove. At issue here, what Coconut Grove will look like and who will represent it. These folks believe the Grove should stay as one. These maps today we're getting to see for the first time, right? It's everything's rushed. Um, there's no reason to rush it. Today, new maps with new district lines that makers say no longer splits up the Grove. Residents outraged over previous proposed plans that would have split the Grove into three districts. We would lose the representation of a single representative and instead have to report to three different commissioners. The biggest concern, really the fear, is that the redistricting will dilute the power and voice of the community, primarily the historic black and Bahamian community and the West Grove, which predates the city of Miami itself. I mean, this was built by black Bahamians and that history is important. This community is important. Clarice Cooper knows this all too well. She grew up here. Her family goes back to the city's founding. Parents and grandparents came over here from the Bahamas in the early part of last century. Cooper says even considering something like this in 2022 is unconscionable. Yes, it is going to dilute our, our voting power. That's been so important to us all these years. Commissioner Ken Russell, who represents District 2, where the Grove is located, says he's hopeful there will be a resolution where the historic neighborhood will remain united. I'm here to work with the, the consultant to see if mathematically there's a better way to d equalize the districts without breaking up Coconut Grove and without diminishing the African-American voice in the West Grove. So debate is still ongoing here at City Hall. In fact, we heard from three commissioners who say they want to vote today. Two others say they want to wait. March 11th looks like will be the final day for the votes. For now, reporting live from the city of Miami, I'm Hatsavala, Local 10 News. Hatsal, thank you.